it's always helpful to know how many they're selling, and certainly Apple already told us that this new line of iPhones are selling pretty well, 9 million basically in the first weekend. Uh, the challenge with a quarter like this is it comes before the holiday season, and we know that Apple's been rolling out a lot of these new devices from the iPhones to the iPads in an effort to secure some strong sales for the holiday period. So some might view this as a wait and see quarter, and that's why there's likely going to be a lot of attention on Apple's cash pile, especially as you highlighted with Carl Icahn pushing aggressively for a $150 billion stock buyback. And just like we'll find out how many iPhones were sold in the quarter, we're going to find out how much cash was generated from Apple's operations. And those numbers are absolutely monster. I mean, this is a company that generated in the neighborhood of $53 billion in cash from operations over the last four quarters. And even if you take out the capital expenditures, you're still talking about about $43 billion in free cash flow. So it is a cash machine. And no doubt, Tim Cook, the CEO, will get some questions about what they plan to do with that cash. Emily? And part of what they do with the cash is spending on updating products, right, like the iPad. Yeah, I mean, if you think about what happened in this same quarter last year, uh, one of the takeaways was the company had higher operating expenses because they were rolling out all these new devices for the holiday period. Well, what have we talked about for the last few weeks? Two new iPhones, two new iPads, a couple MacBook Pros, a Mac Pro for the desktop. So they have been rolling out a ton of stuff recently. There is a big expense with that. And then there's, of course, the expense tied to the unknowns, the stuff that Apple's been working on. And, and you wonder if Tim Cook and the Apple executives will share any detail on how much cash goes into that if they don't want to necessarily spend all their cash on stock buybacks. So we'll see what they say later.